Hi there. My name is Grace Rosine, and I'm the Marketing Specialist at Booklist Publications. Thank you for tuning in to our tutorial that will help you navigate the online edition of the Booklist Reader. During this session, we will help you get a better understanding of our new magazine, and we'll walk you through the process of sharing this wonderful publication with your patrons. We hope you find this tutorial helpful, but if you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at booklistonline.com. Without further ado, I'll pass things off to Booklist editor and publisher, George Kendall. Thanks so much, Grace. Hello and welcome. We were thrilled to launch our new publication named Booklist Reader for library patrons in September, 2021. Each monthly issue is rich with diverse content for library patrons in all communities and for all ages, and contains adult, youth, children, and audiobook recommendations. We hope Booklist Reader will be your reading companion because within each issue, Booklist editors produce timely, important, entertaining, and generally fabulous content for all book and audiobook lovers, like author interviews, like this one with John Vircher. Top 10 lists like these from our October issue informative and important features like reading together recent social justice choices for book groups from our November issue, fantastic audiobook content like Fear, Fandom, and Trek Unite Us, and Listen Alikes author narrated memoirs from our January issue, and reserve these reads for adults and youth in every issue, which are hot books patrons will want to reserve right away. We're also thrilled to partner with Library Reads and feature Library Reads content in every issue. To ensure your institution maximizes use of your book list subscription and enhances engagement with your community, I'm very happy to introduce Dan Kaplan, book list subscriptions and circulation manager, who will walk us through how to share a book list reader. Thank you very much and Dan, over to you. Thank you, George, for pointing out those great highlights. Our goal is to promote reading, and as such, Booklist Reader content is intended to be shared widely. I'm going to walk you through the basics of how subscribing libraries can share a Booklist Reader via your website or through other communications to your users. Before you can share Booklist Reader, you'll need a user profile on booklistonline.com. If you've already got one, you're ready to go. Otherwise, look for this activate profile button that's up at the top of every page on Booklist Online. And here's where you'll fill out this form and you'll need to find your account number, uh, which is either on your uh, Booklist mailing label or through this lookup tool right here on this page. You could also email us at info at booklistonline.com if neither of those work for you. Uh, so let's sign into Booklist Online. And once you do, you'll see here that these this menu, My Profile, is right here at the top. You'll find that on, on the top of every page. Here's where you can adjust your profile information. Look for the blue share booklist reader with your patrons button. On this page, you'll find your library's unique shareable link. The first tab is just a simple link. You can put that in a newsletter or on your website. Uh, the next one is an embed code, and this snippet of code can be placed on to a web page, and it'll display the current cover of Booklist Reader. The link will always stay the same, while the cover will automatically update. The size of the cover can be adjusted to fit your needs. I've copied this code into a dummy website to show you what you might expect. So here you can see the code that I've placed into this content management system. And 
the resulting page. Uh, it's got a built-in link. And again, this cover will automatically change each, each month. Both the link and the cover will send users to this page on Booklist Online, the Booklist Reader Archive page. We have current issues and then, then previous issues. This page requires a sign-in, but using your unique link, your users will bypass that requirement and can read all the book, past Booklist Reader issues. I'll just quickly show you the user interface to our digital editions. And this operates the same whether you're reading a book list, book links, or a book list reader digital issue. You can quickly scroll through each page. You can view it in a different way. You can zoom in. Uh, you can print pages. You can print the whole thing, or you can print uh, individual pages. And I should mention that subscribing libraries have our permission to print either the full book list reader or individual pages, including the library reads page for circulation in your library. So again, if you have any problems setting up book list online profile, book list reader links, please email us at info at booklistonline.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan and George. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. As Dan mentioned, if you have any further questions about how to access or share Booklist Reader, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at booklistonline.com. We'd love to hear from you and we are here to help. If you're interested in purchasing the Booklist Reader for your library, subscribe now to get print and online access to 22 issues of Booklist, 12 issues of the Booklist Reader, and three issues of book links for only $75. For more information, please visit www.booklistonline.com. Thanks for watching.